Michaela has somehow managed to find herself in more drama this week, and it sounds like even some of her own fans are upset with her. It's a mess, so let's get into it. Recently, we've been talking a lot about Michaela not disclosing her ads properly, inflating how well products perform, and lying about how much she likes a product once she's being paid. Every week, it feels like there's some new story about Michaela doing the same thing, and nothing ever changes with her. But Michaela is now being called out for something new. A lot of people are accusing Michaela of exaggerating her bad reviews and dragging the brands who don't sponsor her. Earlier this week, Michaela did a few videos trying out makeup that she's never heard of before, and people didn't like what she had to say about one brand. Michaela tried out Wayne Goss's blush highlight duos, and she did not have good things to say about them. Let's let's move on. We're gonna try the Wayne Goss loose powder. Now, this first ingredient in this is mica, which is shimmer, and then it's made with rice starch. So let's see. It's a pure white powder, so I hope it doesn't make me look gray. Okay, I'm just lightly setting my under eyes. It's okay. I think the way I'd prefer to use this is take a little bit of airbrush flawless set and then bake loosely with this on top to really brighten it up. It's okay, I wouldn't use it by itself. My makeup right now is literally a tragedy. Oh my god. Okay, these look really pretty, and I think they can save me, okay? Blush and highlighter duos from Wayne Goss. I have to use this one. This highlighter looks so pretty. First, I'm going to lay down the blush. But I'm fully aware that my makeup is not savable at this point, okay? But I'm still, I think the blush is pretty. Please give me something with this highlighter. Give me something. Oh, it's really not giving me anything. It's really not given. It's not. This video might as well be a full face of makeup I hate at this point. And normally, this would be fine. If you don't like a product, if the product isn't doing what it's intended to do and what it claims to be able to do, then fair enough. Drag it. Give it a bad review and show your audience you're okay with being honest. But that's not exactly the case here. The Wayne Goss duos are intended to be lightweight for a more natural look. The description of them says, The Weightless Veil Blush Palette is Wayne Goss's secret to a healthy looking youthful flush. Each palette features two complementary shades, a matte blush, and a radiant highlighter, designed to be worn alone or layered together to create your perfect cheek. Experience how the right blush has the power to transform your entire look, brightening your complexion and adding fresh, natural-looking dimension in just a few seconds. Clearly, Michaela wasn't going for a natural finish here. She was judging the product before even mentioning what its intended use was for, and a lot of people aren't happy with her. So I woke up to that sound by Michaela Nagiro going, Nagiro, Nagiro, I can't, I don't know how you say her last name, going viral about her just absolutely sh on a box of makeup that she was just now trying. Um, and one of those brands that she was sh on was Wayne Goss. And if you have been in the makeup game for a minute, you know Wayne Goss is an OG. Um... Please tell me why this girl was dogging the shit out of Wayne Goss's makeup, saying it wasn't bright enough, all this stuff, and the bronzer wasn't dark enough, or the contour wasn't dark enough. When his products claim to give you a natural, healthy looking, or healthy, natural looking finish. She is a glam girly, obviously. Why would you use products with a natural looking finish? Like... Of course, the highlighter is not going to be, you're not going to look like a glazed donut. He's, it, that's the point of it. Like, you're not going to. It's very soft. It's very subtle. And I just cannot believe that there are probably people in this app who had never heard of Wayne Goss before. And, like, Wayne Goss is one of the reasons why I fell in love with makeup. And I probably never heard of him. And now people aren't going to buy from him because she said something. Wayne Goss is loved in the beauty space and his makeup is highly rated. He built his brand from the ground up and people aren't here for the dragging of a product that she wasn't even using properly. A lot of people think that the fact that none of these brands have ever sponsored Michaela before probably plays a big part in how comfortable she felt dragging them. 
a lot of comments said that she was over exaggerating how bad they were performing and many people thought her makeup looked really good. The backlash ended up becoming so overwhelming, I guess she ended up turning the comments off. Yikes. And the Michaela drama doesn't even stop there. As you guys know, Michaela never once admitted to Lashgate. She's poked fun at the fact that she was wearing falsies in her video, but she's never fully admitted to it, not even to her own friends. This week, Trisha Paytas had Douse Mendoza on her podcast, and he just so happens to be friends with Michaela. Michaela and Douse recently got together to collab, so Trisha used the opportunity to ask him if he believed Michaela was wearing lashes. Now, I don't know if he was just covering for Michaela or if Michaela actually told him this, but apparently Michaela even denied wearing lashes to him. Always gets the right one. Did you do the did you do the telescopic? Did you get that no, brand deal? No. Everyone was getting that. Did you try it? Um, I did try it. Actually, no, I didn't. No, not, not the one Michaela did. Okay. Not that one. Do you think she was but wearing I, a falsie? It's because they have so many mascaras. <laughs> I asked her. She did said you? no. And she, did she? She oh. said no. Okay. I, then I believe it. I, I believe Michaela. I was like, like, why would she lie you to know you? You know what? I was like, forgive him for a guy, girl. I don't care. Like, yeah. I love that you no. asked her. I always asked her, yeah. I feel like that's why she doesn't want to do podcasts. I feel like she's scared people would ask her. I would, I could edit I it out. I for it. I'm like, just, just be honest. I don't care. Yeah, but yeah, I asked yeah. her. I was like, were you wearing a falsie? And okay. then she, I even said, are you sure? Yeah. And she's like, yeah. She's like, I swear I was wow. not wearing a falsie. So I was like, okay. Okay, that's the I was like, hurting your folks. She told her own friend she wasn't wearing a falsie. So, yeah. Wow. Okay, I believe it. I feel like, why would she like? Because was it on and camera? I told her, or I was like, camera? so you just tight lined and, you know, did yeah. that. And I was like, she was like, okay. yeah. I was like, okay. Wow. Oh, no, it was off camera. Yeah, it was off people, camera. People, wow. People, you know what? People got so mad at her for it. It was like I was wild. living. I was like, this girl. Yeah. I, I was like, you know what? I was like, I hope they give her another check on top of that oh. because she blew that mascara they should, up. It was so hard. I, really I went hope. to every Target because I, I was like, I'm going to try it because it was viral and I couldn't find it anywhere. So it she was sold blew out. it up. She yeah. sold that out. Mm. For, for a while, I was like, this has to be a PR stunt. I was like, for a while. Yeah. No, they, you, like, she was just, yeah. hey, that. I love that she came back and didn't say anything too. I was like, I live for that. I want to come back that way. That's like the best way to come back honestly yeah, she's not, and I, I think she address. even did like a little she said like oh I think the way she came back she started off the video by saying let's all talk about the elephant in the room right and then she says something else <laughs> yeah, yeah, that yeah. does have nothing to do with the mascara iconic iconic it's, it's, literally it's, iconic yeah. I love it I feel like only now influence can get away with that I have to address every little thing so it sounds like Michaela is trying her best to maintain her lie I'm sure she knows if she told someone and if it ever got out, she could possibly be in big trouble with the FTC and L'Oreal. Finally, we have to talk about Michaela's support of James Charles. A lot of people have been keeping track of which influencers are supporting James with the launch of his basic canvas palette, especially after what happened with his paints. A lot of influencers chose not to review his paints, but some were still seen wearing them. Michaela ended up wearing his paints to the Streamy Awards, and Jacqueline used his sponge during a tutorial. Well, this palette has surprisingly received a lot more positive feedback compared to the paints, and Michaela decided to showcase it on her TikTok. My lids with this eye base. I want to try this painted palette. It looks absolutely insane. Let's do a really pretty holiday eye. Okay, so far these shadows are freaking given. The blend, the pigment, the shimmers are shimmering. Okay, I love the eyes. I'm gonna move on to the base. Do the eyes first because it's so easy to wipe away any fallout. Mmm, this look is everything. This is what I call a good hair and makeup day, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> As you can imagine, a lot of people are not happy about this. Showing James support and pretty much promoting his palette to the audience that she has is the biggest stamp of approval that she could have given him. And given everything that James has done in the past, it's not sitting right with a lot of people. Personally, I'm not surprised. Michaela invited James to her brand trip wedding. They support each other in the comments all of the time. And Michaela doesn't exactly have the best reputation for being morally correct in the beauty space. So no surprise here. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about everything down below and I'll see you next time.